Hello YouTubers, and today I am reviewing the First Doctor and Electronic TARDIS set. Now, I was very surprised uh, to find this in a B&M store. I literally just randomly just decided, oh, I'll just, you know, ask them, you know, when they're getting the delivery in, and they happen to just have these in. Only two of them. Um, one of them was particularly damaged, so my brother had that one, and I had uh, this one, since I went and got them. Anyway... So, yeah, the interesting, obviously, thing about this one is it's a David Bradley first Doctor, which I'll get onto in a second, but also it marks the first B&M electronic TARDIS, and also not much of a price increase either. This is only twenty four ninety nine. So, yeah, much better deal than the £40 for the Character Online exclusive, you know. Just seeing with that. But uh, yeah, we'll get on to the David Bragley figure first of all. Now, the body is just a Hartnell body. It's just the button-up jacket one with the scarf, which is altered. And the reason this was permanently modified and altered was for the... I think it was on release. I think it's still on release. Uh, Judy Whittaker figure, which is why this was permanently altered. Which is why we've never got a cloak variant since. To be honest, I would have much preferred, rather than doing the hat and scarf, I would have much preferred a more standard uh, looking one where it's just, you know, the coat open with the uh, waistcoat and cravat. I would have personally much preferred that because it is a decent head sculpt of, of David Bradley, although it is a little bit soft in some places. Uh, but, yeah, it's a pretty good sculpt of David Bradley. The only thing is, is that, you know, one part of it is covered up by the hat, and two, since it is a hat sculpt as well, you know, I would much prefer it of just being a more regular figure, to be honest. Like, it's nice that we do have a David Bradley in the line, but, yeah, just with the scarf like this, you know, not without the iconic cloak, it just looks a bit odd, and the scarf, it looks a bit too sort of pastely for me now this is not actually based on any appearances in Doctor Who it's based on an adventuring space and time and again I think I don't know something about the scarf it looks a bit too green for me personally but yeah it's it's a nice enough figure but will yours not be damaged we'll obviously get on to the elephant in the room at the end now Here's the thing we all came to see, the TARDIS. Big problem right off, off the bat though. It's the wrong colour. It is the wrong colour. And the reason it is the wrong colour is because Aldebar has based this off pictures of it in the experience. The problem is when this prop went to the experience it was repainted a much, you know, brighter, more vibrant blue. So yeah, this is the wrong shade of blue. It's far too basically vibrantly blue. And also the base as well being black, which it shouldn't be in an adventuring space and time. So it's completely the wrong uh, blue. The weathering on it is quite nice though. The weathering, I will say, is quite good. And it doesn't have that effect where it easily rubs off. That seems to be a long since thing of the past. We've got the speaker grill and uh, the battery compartment, but they're real on this, so that's fine. I mean, there's still a massive, you know, speaker grill there. I think this, you know, when they originally did this mold, I think they could they could have much better disguised it by just having some slits along there, rather than having the most obvious looking speaker grill you've ever seen. But still, it's a nice looking box, and I do like the weathered effect. And I do like the, you know, hint of the St. John's Ambulance, because in an adventuring space in time, you actually uh, see some prop guys uh, literally just painting over it. So, yeah, and we have the very yellowed and uh, sort of mucky looking, yes, that is a sticker, uh, police public call box signing. This one is a sticker, this one. I think it's the only one that is actually a sticker in terms of classic series boxes other than the Whitaker one. Because, yeah, all the other classic series boxes, um, the signage was uh, printed on. And uh, the police the police so signage 
that is still printed on it feels it might be i don't know if it is a sticker or not it might actually no it is a sticker yeah even the police signs on this one are stickers yeah which is weird because on the all the others it's printed on and I, I think it looks better when it is printed i can feel it not quite sitting right in that corner not a major issue now what is a major issue uh thankfully it's not quite as obvious as it was before but you might be able to see this thing is sort of bending out a bit and i've been trying to push it back in uh together this whole time and the reason is is because of the plastic now i've got a picture of it still in the box and whoa look how much that plastic is sticking out yeah it's <coughs> excuse me it's back to for some reason back to this thick rigid plastic here that they put through the posts to stop the doors from opening why like that you know they were using sellotape before uh they used sellotape previously but then they seem to have gone back to this in the last couple of ones and i don't know why because uh, this one seems to be the worst out of all of them i mean look at that door the way it bends so much now i'm hoping just leaving it out like this hopefully it'll well, not go completely straight again but be a bit you know better the problem is you can't really stick this in boiling water because i tried that with the second dr tardis and the problem is it makes the doors and the post shrink basically just a tiny bit but enough where the doors will just swing open and the spring won't engage properly and also this is what david bragley comes in and that is just slotted over the top of the TARDIS so yeah I'd, I'd advise sliding that over if you want to put that in but yeah uh, before I get into the sound effects of this thing this box yeah they've changed the packaging design we've all seen it I've made videos on it there's no plastic none not anywhere and the problem is uh, David Bradley sticks out a bit in fact actually particularly his scarf as well sticks out considerably on this TARDIS there's some uh, information on the back for people who care but yeah basically some figures are going to get damaged I'm just going to say it right now some figures are going to get damaged and also like if the whole point is to use less plastic how come the TARDIS is now held in with plastic again if you remember on the fifth Doctor TARDIS from B&M um, I think it was the fifth doctor one i can't remember off the top of my head but uh the top of the tardis was held in with uh, some of that like papery type string at the top to hold it in place rather than using plastic but now they've gone back to using that so yeah rather than using plastic to hold that in at the top why don't you use that plastic just to have you know a plastic window at least at least one at the front at least one at the front to stop it I mean, I've seen some people say they'd rather it just be a windowless box. And I can see their point. Also, this TARDIS is also still screwed into the box. So, that's a point as well. You do get a plain white backdrop. And the reason I mention this is because this could have been a custom backdrop, really. Although you wouldn't have really seen it because the TARDIS takes up excuse me, most of the box now. Getting all of that out of the way, and basically, if you've seen my picture that I posted, you can see some of these boxes do get damaged. They are pretty fragile. Let's get some batteries into this thing, shall we? So, let's actually, and I haven't done this, so we'll see if this actually works. It might be completely dead, but let's actually put some batteries uh, actually in this thing and uh, see if it actually works. And also, hope and pray that I've got enough batteries. So uh, I'm going to borrow some out of my soundbar remote. I'm just going to borrow some out of there because I'm literally just going to use, put it in here to demonstrate it and then I will take the batteries out and probably never use the sound effects again. There we go. Right. Turn it on and let's us see. Okay. <laughs> 
oh, it was already on. I switched it off. That use would have known that. I didn't. I didn't look properly. That was clever. Well, it's quite a nice big bright white light. Now, since this is the classic sound chip, it's not going to do anything if you shake it or spin it. That is only on uh, the 10th and 12th Doctor flight control TARDISes. However, this does have the quickest landing and uh, takeoff sounds. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Be a nice little landing there. I will say, though, I do really like this car. Even though it is the wrong shade of blue. It is. But, you know, it is nice to get this alongside, finally, a, a David Bragley figure. But there are just things about it that just irk me, to be honest. I think the biggest thing that irks me about this one is the packaging is the number one thing but also the david bragley because you know it's just not a stand a more standard look for him it's, it's just not a standard look for him and it's a shame because you know but this does mean something though one they do have the right to use david bragley his likeness so Hopefully, you know, a more regular version of him will be released at a future date. But, uh, yeah, for £25, I do really like this TARDIS set. I do really like it. And also, it'll be good uh, for people who basically like to basically gut these and use these for the electronics. Because this is, this is the cheapest way to get those electronics. Before that was the Judy Whitaker box, which... If you remember when that was released, that was £25 on its own at retail. So at least with this, you get a figure on that with it and that as well. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get more of these down the road. Hopefully we'll get more of these electronic TARDISes down the road. I think it gives it a bit more lease of life as well. Eighth Doctor TARDIS, please. Why have we still not got an Eighth Doctor TARDIS? Also, for those who care, there are instructions in case you're completely thick. Just so you know. And also just so you're so thick that you don't even look at the instructions that are printed on the bottom of the box. Or if the bloody big battery compartment was not obvious. That's for those people. But uh, yeah, there we go people, there we go.